if you were here Wednesday around four in the afternoon, it was sunny skies similar to right about now. But just about an hour later, a hail storm hit these previously calm streets. And this house behind me, you can see some circles. I'm gonna step around and zoom in to kind of show you those circles. They represent damage that was on this house from the hail. I spoke with Forrest Tate, who owns that home with his wife. When he first heard about the storm, he thought... It's like, no, it's certainly not going to be that bad at all. And then all of a sudden, it sounded like gunfire all around me, or what I would imagine it sounding like. And uh, the hail was coming down so loud that the, it sounded like the back windows were going to break on the house. So I even filmed some of it on my phone, uh, just because it was I've never seen anything like it before. Tate shared that video with me this afternoon. He says the hail caused indentations to the shingles in his roof. Those indentations have to be repaired. The whole middle section most likely is probably going to have to have fixes to it because it's got indentations all through it and that's just going to lead to further problems down the road. I spoke with a roofing expert Chandler Crawford who works with Best Choice Roofing. He explained what those indentations mean for homeowners. And your roof's made to do one thing and that's get rid of water uh, but after hail it creates those bowls and it just holds that water and it essentially just rots through the shingle into the decking and you start having leaks in, in your ceiling down your drywall. Chandler said those leaks can start as soon as six months after the damage. So it's important to get your roof checked out if it did come in contact with hail. Live in Moorville, Sammy Roebuck, WTVA 9 News.